Hey everybody, I'm Jeffrey Weiss with Esports Circus. Thank you so much for joining us. Please remember to like and subscribe this video. Like and subscribe. Put some comments down there. We'd so much appreciate it. So we are having a fabulous time down here in San Diego here at the Music Box SD. And it's a rocking night. There's some music going on. There's about to see some drone racing going on. A lot of things going on. So Smash tournaments going on. We're getting the dominoes going. We're getting a lot of stuff going. And I was down there on the ground floor, and uh, Dane, who's, our, who's, the, who's the leader here, told me, he said, hey, I got to issue you this incredible woman. And I says, I love to meet incredible women. So I said, he says, this is an incredible woman. Her name is Dr. Luana, and I want to introduce you to her. So I met her, and I said, I got to get an interview with you. So I brought up here, the, hi, Dr. Luana, how you doing? Oh, great. So happy to have you here. So, Dr. Luana, you are a Afrofuturist. So what is an Afrofuturist? So I teach Afrofuturism. I create um, experiences and events. And I also bring together and uplift other people who push forward Afrofuturist thought. When people say Afrofuturist, well, we know what Afro is, and we know what kind of what a futurist is, but how does that link together? What is so Afrofuturism is basically um, speculative fiction, science fiction, art, music, performing arts, visual arts, and um, science that puts black people in the center instead of on the margins. And so like um, a movie like Blade Runner, yeah. um, instead of black people only being like rebels and um, workers of you know various industries, um, they're actually, uh, it, an Afrofuturist film might put them more in the center where they're in more of a leadership role instead of a supporting character. That's very cool. So that's such an important thing. Where do you teach us out of? So I teach at UCSD. I also give lectures at the library, or I speak on panels at events or um, at other um, academic institutions. And then I also produce an event called the AfroCon. I was going to ask you about that. So with the AfroCon, we bring together um, comic book writers and creators, yeah. publishers, as well as other um, vendors and exhibitors that push the culture forward. Yeah. And it's an event for all ages where kids and adults get exposed to the possibilities and then I throw in you know just a little bit of educational content so it's not just all fun yeah um, music um, food beverages it's it's kind of just a time for people to come together and celebrate the arts so you have a costume this is your, this is your comic con costume this is my comic con costume and what are you dressed up as shotgun Mary from the movie the harder they fall Shotgun wedding from the heart of the fall. That's yes. very cool. So you're gonna have a shotgun wedding. I'm okay. not gonna have a shotgun wedding. I am just going to, um, you know, I guess adopt the philosophy of any means necessary. There you go. That's very very cool. So how do we find out more about you? I want to find out more about you. Well, there's a couple of ways. Probably the easiest two ways would be um, drluana.com. DrLuana.com. Or AfroCon.net. I'm also the founder and um, executive director of the Black Speculative Arts Movement San yeah. Diego chapter which is part of a global network of writers, artists, and futurists who are working together to um, create content that is uplifting and forward thinking. That's so fun. I can't wait. <laughs> so Dr. Luana, thank you so much for joining me here. Hey guys, find out more about Dr. Luana at drluana.com and afrocon.net. So you guys, please check that out. Like and subscribe. And if you want to find out more about Dr. Luana, you just put it down in the notes, put your contact information, and I'll get it out to her. So thank you guys so much for joining us again. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next interview. All right. Bye-bye.